Ukraine's redeployment causes significant Russian advance on the southern front. It's day 813 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from the Kharkiv front. After Ukraine transferred significant reinforcement from the other fronts, they were able to slow the first wave of the Russian offensive. At the Vavchansk city, Russian forces continue to make progress within the city. Apparently, they have now started attacking in two directions. One group is moving south, while the other is advancing east. As per today's report, southern advancing groups were able to take this area under their control. Now in the eastern part, Russians yesterday were able to reach the outskirts and were trying to enter the city. As per latest report, they were able to advance further and took this area under their control. After receiving a lot of updates from the Ukrainian side, it seems like they are preparing to withdraw their forces from the northern side of the river. Recently Russian sources reported, Ukrainian units were seen mining various locations in the city to slow the Russian advance. In addition, Russian aviation continues fabbing the city. Furthermore, sources reported, a special police unit of Ukraine is now being deployed to the Kharkiv front. This same unit was used while recapturing Klishivka during their counteroffensive. Now moving to Lipsy, here we did not see any major movements. In a previous report I told you, Russian units were attacking northern Dachas. Apparently these were the DRG units performing the mission. It seems like one unit was surrounded and pinned down by Ukrainian forces in the building, which eventually led to the surrender. Apparently one Russian soldier was injured during the fight. However, he was given immediate treatment by the Ukrainian soldier. But this whole area eventually came under Russian control after the recent attack. Yesterday I showed you photos of dragon's teeth lying around at the side of the road, which were supposed to form the line north of Lipsy. Recently Deep State shared images of different fortifications. In the image we can see the partially complete fortification, while necessary resources are lying around. Now moving to the Robotene sector. Before we carry on, if you like my today's report and are a regular viewer, it helps our channel if you like and subscribe. If you recall, in my previous Kharkiv report I reported, the Ukrainian command is preparing to send their three airborne forces to the north from various fronts. Among these three brigades, one was the 82nd Brigade. This is the same brigade that took part in the Ukrainian counteroffensive on this front. Apparently their fellow airborne unit believe, transfer of the unit has led to Russian breakthrough in Robotene. Now the situation in the village was difficult for both sides, because as you all know due to intense battle the village is in ruins. As a result there are no good positions to take cover. Because if one unit enters the village, the other side targets them with FPV drones and artillery. We have seen a lot of footage like this from both sides. So in recent days, it was believed that whoever controls the trenches east of the village, will be able to control the whole village without significant losses. However, up until now, Russian forces were able to hold the center of the village with sheer willpower. It seems like recent redeployment did change the situation. Latest report says, Russian forces launched an attack eastwards on the trenches. It is said they were able to take this area under their control. Consequently, Ukrainian forces entrenched in these fields were about to be encircled. So they decided to withdraw, and Russians also took this area under their control. However, there is a rumor, Russian forces have taken Robotene fully under their control. However, this is not the case. Mostly all trusted sources say, the northern outskirts is still under Ukraine's control. Currently fights are taking place. Recently Ukraine launched a massive attack on Crimea. Now there is a lot of difference between what the Russian Ministry of Defense claims and what Russian sources report. Currently it is known, Ukraine launched around 10 to 16 Atoms missiles on Crimea. However despite the work of the Russian air defense, two or three missiles were able to get through. Target of these missiles was Belbek airfield in Sevastopol. Recently leaked images from the ground indicates, a Russian air defense launcher was destroyed. 
In addition, local residents shared images of one of intercepted missiles. Since this attack, Ukraine has launched two more waves. We will discuss it in the next video. As information gets clear, subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.